Hello, my name is Barbara Ann, sister to Deborah, and today we will be going through some Southern people slang. So you may remember me from a video Tyra posted to her YouTube channel last month during Spooktober about Halloween origins and traditions and such. I did that video with my sister Deborah, but she is not here today. So Mom, I'm stop lying to these people. I'm right here behind the camera filming Deborah. You. They don't need to know that you behind the camera. You're not in this video today. You always want to be the center of attention. Come on, we got to do this. Come on now. Well, let me just tell the people, hey, I just want to show them my face and let them know that Deborah is here. How about you let me do that? Go on ahead and show them then. That's what I thought. Well, hello, I'm Deborah. Nice to see you all again. I haven't seen you in cone days. I just wanted to say hello and introduce myself again to you guys, even though I am behind the camera today. So I'm going to Deborah, come on now. Put the camera back on bar because she always acting a fool. Here. Now anyway, like I was saying, today we're gonna be looking at some things that Southern people say, some uh, some slang, I guess, and you know, some idiomatic expressions that people down South like to use that other people may not know what they mean. So let's get started. So we have our first saying here, and it says, ooh, I can't read that. Let me grab my, grab my lookers real quick. All right, that's better. Now this one says, the devil is a liar. Yes, he is. He sure is. Now, you'll hear a lot of people say this when they are speaking to somebody who just didn't lie, just in plain out lies. So let me give you an example of what I mean. So if, if I'm sitting outside on the porch and my husband said to Deborah, Deborah, it looked like you didn't lost 30 pounds. Girl, you look good. I will respond and say the devil is a lie because Deborah ain't lose no weight. You sure right the devil is a lie. Deborah, you know you ain't lose no weight. Yes, I have. I've been counting my calories and doing the watching weight, weight watch, weight watch. The watches. devil is a lie. You ain't been on no weight watchers, no Jenny Craig, no none of that. Don't be playing up in here with the Lord now. Next up, we got bow knocker. Now, Bow knockers are what you put on churn hair whenever they put their hair in plaits. Those are the little bow knocker things that be on the top and then you put the little bow rats on the bottom. So you got the bow knocker, then you got the bow rat that go at the bottom. Being ugly. Being ugly mean you just flat out being disrespectful, you got an attitude, and you just not being nice to the people around you. Now normally, this is a term used by grandmothers such as myself, and we talk to our grandchildren like this. If we have company over and our grandchild walks in the house and they don't speak, then we'll say, stop being ugly and come over here and speak to your Uncle James. So that's when you being ugly, whenever you being real, real mean and just nasty, just being ugly. Can't bust a grape. <laughs> I got the perfect example for can't bust a grape. So when we was in school, when me and Deborah was in school, Deborah would always just run her mouth. I mean, she would just talk, talk, talk. And it had these big old girls that just couldn't stand Deborah, right? So one day the girl said, meet her after school in the front lawn of the school. Right? So Deborah was still talking, still running her mouth, you know? But Deborah can't bust a grape. So you know what Deborah did? Deborah did not go and she did not fight that girl. So busting a grape, when you when you can't bust a grape, it means you can't fight or you won't fight. It means that you ain't gonna hurt nobody. So Deborah, to this day, you still can't bust a grape. And I you better not play grape, with me. But I can show bust your head. Don't play with me, because you know, you know I'll do it to you. And I'll do it to you. Shoot, you might be the old the sister, but I'll do it to you. Don't play with me. Don't play with me either. Too old for this. Let's move along. Commode. Now this, this, I don't really use this term commode, but I have heard my grandma, she used to say commode all the time. Now normally a commode is a piece of furniture, but where I'm from, a commode is the toilet. Don't get me the line. This is something that I feel like you already know what it mean, but basically you say don't get me the line when you got people that asking you questions about stuff that you don't even know and you don't want to lie about it. So if I asked you a question about your best friend, cousin, uncle, sister, brother, and 
you don't know the answer to it, then you're going to say, don't give me the line now. Mm-mm. Po. Po means poor. And not in the way that you normally use the word po. But po in this instance mean that you is just skin and bones. You don't have no meat on your bones. You don't eat. So if you came inside and you saw one of your grandchildren that looked like they was losing a little bit of weight, then you'll say, boy, get your po self up in there and fix you a plate of food so you can put some meat on your bones. So that's what po is. Just, you know, like that. Well, all of your grandchildren po because your food now. Deborah. Don't interrupt this video again. We is almost done. We trying to get this video done for the people on the flues too. It's YouTube, boy. YouTube, YouTube, whatever, whatever, whatever. You already know what we doing up in here. Tyra not gonna let us get on her YouTube channel no more if you keep playing. Now stop it. Shoot, I always got something to say. Next up, we got Zank. Zank is also one of those older words that my grandma used to use when I was little. And I couldn't for the longest figure out what the word zank meant. So one day I was just like, Grandma, what is a zank? Cause I just, I just don't know. She'll tell me, go put this here in the zank, clean out the zank, empty the zank. And I just did not know what she was talking about. So one day I said, Grandma, what is the zank? And she said, Barbara Ann, don't you play with me. And I said, Momo, I'm not playing with you. I don't know what a zinc is. So she took me over into the kitchen and pointed at the sink, y'all. So a zinc is a sink. That is not how she pronounced that word, Barb. You know that. Deborah. You know what? You gonna do the next video. How about this? That's fine do you wanna me. do the yeah, next one? Because you that. act like I just can't do nothing right. I can't say nothing. I can't do nothing on this YouTube video or nothing without you sitting here and having your two cents put up in it. All I'm saying is, Momo ain't say no zank. You just making that up. Now, why is you lying to these people? The next ones we got is calling the cows home so this is a term that is used whenever somebody is snoring real loud you'll say boy you is calling them cows home going to town now some of y'all might think that going to town means that you are physically going to town which it could mean that you physically going to town but in this sense of the word going to town mean you are doing something excessively you are doing something without being distracted you are just going in you are just doing the dang thing you know what i mean so if i was sitting at the table and i was super duper hungry and i was eating my food real real fast then somebody might look at me and say god dog barbara ann you going to town on that food ain't got a pot to piss in this flat out means that you is Po, and I don't mean that you was skinny. I mean that you po po. You ain't got no money to even buy you a pot to piss in. So you would use this term if, let's just say that somebody asked you for a hundred dollars, and now you know you ain't got a hundred dollars. So you will say, shoot, I ain't even got a pot to piss in, which means that you ain't got no money to spare or you can't spare them no money. But you can also use this term if, let's just say that somebody was, um, what y'all be saying these days, these kids be saying, y'all be flexing and stuff, y'all be buying all these, um, Balenci no chos and, uh, you know, these, these Gucci bandanas and all that foolishness when y'all be buying all that but you ain't got a house or you got bills that's overdue credit cards that's past due and overspent all that you'll say or with old folks they'll say you spending all this money on these balenci no-nos and you ain't even got a pot to piss in ye line <laughs> so ye line literally means you ain't lying. But you use this term to agree with somebody. So if I said, boy, that house show is nice, then you can respond by saying, shoot, you ain't lying. Or you could also use it in the negative. If you said, golly, she sure is losing all of her hair. She bald headed. Then you could respond, shoot, you ain't lying. Worrying me. Ooh. If I had a quarter for every time that Deborah then worried me, I'd been and lived in a mansion oh, by now. I'm worrying you. I, I'm surprised you're over there being quiet. You've been quiet for the last five words. You must be over there falling asleep. I ain't falling no sleep now. Hmm. Well, you would always worry me when we was growing up. So worrying me means 
that you just aggravating me, just picking at me, just, just, you know, all up in my space, just trying to get my attention and all that kind of stuff. This is something that the older folks say. If a, if a child keep asking them the same questions over and over, or just trying to, you know, be rambunctious and, and get my attention or, you know, try to play with you or something like that, you'll say, come on now, stop worrying me. Then you'll tell them to go sit down and watch some TV or do some homework or read the Bible or something like that. That's what they need to do instead of worrying me. Hmm, now, like grandchild, like grandmama. First of all, Deborah, I don't never be worrying you. You the one who live at my house and you supposed to be the older sister. Mom, what is you telling these people that I am older than you? Girl, you is 15 years older than me. We're not going to talk about that today. No, no, no. Come on, Deborah, stop worrying me. All right, tomorrow then. See how I used the word right then and there? Whew, he done got some hot up in here. Then you over there worrying about me when I'm up here almost finishing the video. Tyra ain't gonna never let us back on her YouTube page. It's YouTube channel, Barb. YouTube channel. Whatever you wanna call it, Deborah. <sighs> Hello. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Tyra's YouTube channel. If you know or use any of these words that we went over today, leave us a comment down below. And if you would like to see a part two to this video, now, and uh, maybe- I'm doing part two. I was just about to say that, Deborah. You don't always have to cut me off. We are not gonna be able to Bob, do this. go ahead and finish the video. All you gotta do is tell them that they gotta just- <sighs> Just-, just... <clears throat> As I was saying, if you would like to see a part two to this video and have my sister, Deborah, do a part two to this video, make sure that you give it a like and uh, make sure that you are uh, subscribed to the channel and share this video with a friend. Thank you guys so much for watching and I guess we'll see you in the next one.